Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we will be tackling legal question 56 titled Merge Intervals. We are given a parameter named intervals here which is a nested integer array and we are supposed to return the merge version of this parameter uh, which is of type nested integer as well. So basically let's go through the question here. Uh, we are given this parameter called intervals uh, and here's two numbers within uh, the array which is representing the start and end and basically we're supposed to merge all overlap overlapping intervals and return an array of non overlapping uh, intervals right so I think like looking at the example will be much clearer than reading this so let's uh, take a look at example 2 which is the shorter version so we can see within uh, this intervals parameter here uh, we have two arrays which is uh, the first array has two numbers which is represented by start and end so the start is 1 and end is 4 for the first array and the second one uh, the start is 4 and end is, uh, the ending number is 5 for the second array right so the output here is 1 and 5 essentially because like 4 and 4 is the same thing so uh, we can merge it and then basically it takes the starting number of the first array and the ending number of the second array and then that's how we form the answer here which is 1 and 5 right so if you take a look at the first question which is a bit more uh, a longer version of it uh, but we can see here we have uh, 1 and 3, 2, 6, 8, 10 and 15 and 18 right so we can say, take a look at the first array here which is uh, they, they merge the overlapping intervals so 1 and 3 and 2 and 6 we know that 3 is bigger than 2 uh, but 3 is smaller than 6 right so basically that's how we form the first uh, overlapping interval right so that's how they get the number 1 and 6 here so that's the answer for this one and then once this is merged uh, we can check again where 1 and 6 uh, is 6 bigger than uh, 8? No, so that's why it's not overlapping. Uh, so it pretty much end there for the first uh, overlapping uh, array interval. And the second one, which is 8 and 10, we compare it again with uh, 15 and 18. And again, it is not overlapping because uh, 10 is not within the range of 15 and 18. And that's about it. So overall, it's not too bad of a question. I think it's uh, kind of straightforward in terms of what we have to do. So if it's not clear, basically the strategy that we're supposed to do here is actually comparing the uh, last number and the starting number as well as the ending number of the subsequent array. So for example, if we take a look at 1 and 3 and 2 and 6, right? This is the first array and this is the second array. Basically, we are going to compare uh, two at a time. And what we're going to do here is we're going to ask that question. Is the last number of the first array the or the previous uh, array bigger than and smaller than the ending number, right? So bigger than the starting number and smaller than the ending number. If it is, that means we have a overlapping scenario. And that is when we have to take the starting number of the previous uh, array and take the ending number of the uh, current array. That's how we will form the overlap version uh, of the intervals, right? So I know that's kind of like a mouthful, so uh, let's jump, jump straight into the code and then you will see what I meant by the strategy that I just spoke about. So here, we're just going to do a quick check if the interval is empty if it is there's nothing to check so we'll just return an empty array so over here in this question it did not specify that uh, this uh, nested sub array here is sorted or not right but we can see from the example it is sorted like 1 and 3 2 and 6 and then 10 it's not the other way around where it's like there might be scenarios where 1 and 3 and then this array here is 6 and 2 and then the next array may be 10 and 8 and then here is 15 and 18 right all of them seem to be sorted in an ascending order here within each array 1 3 2 6 8 10 15 and 18 right same for example 2 1 4 4 5 
uh, but not to take anything into ch uh, to chances so I'm just going to sort the array here because they might swap the numbers around uh, so but it doesn't make sense right because like uh, start and end uh, so starting should be the smaller number but yeah like I said just to ensure the input is 100% correct uh, I'm just going to sort it uh, so let's go and sort this one uh, this is how we are going to do the sorting here so once uh, the intervals is already sorted to ensure that it is exactly what we expect it to be we can go ahead and check um, I'm going to create a result variable here and basically it will take the first version of uh, not the first version, the first uh, nested array and put it in our results and this is the answer that we're going to return but we're going to obviously uh, add or remove from this results array so I'm just going to go ahead and return it here first and this is where we're going to do our operation right so basically we take the first uh, nested array of the intervals so with that being said we can actually start our for loop from the first index of sorted right the reason why we don't start from zero is because the results already have uh, is taking the first uh, nested array from the sorted so that's why we can start from the second one which is represented by the first index so like I said, the strategy that we were, we are going to use is basically taking the current uh, nested array, uh, current nested array, and compare it with the previous uh, nested array. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we we definitely need the current uh, start index and uh, current ending index, as well as the previous start and previous end. So let's go ahead and extract those value out first. So I'm just going to call it brief start which is represented by results.last and then just get the uh, index 0 and then brief end basically would be results.last and 1 right so that's basically the uh, the ending of the previous version so now what we're going to do is current start equals to uh, the current index which is the sorted one so we just access it by index i and then take 0 and then current n sorted i and 1 so now what we're going to do is we're going to check whether it is overlapping or not and the rules are basically if the previous n is bigger than equals to current star and previous n is smaller than the current n that means we know in this scenario in this if block here it is representing the overlapping case and what we need to do is basically uh, we need to remove it from the result and update it because this is an overlapping scenario right so basically uh, we remove last sorry remove last and then basically just add uh, the previous start and current end this is basically the new uh, overlap range so think about this first example here imagine in this iteration we are comparing 2 and 6 which is index 1 and the results is basically sorted first which is 1 and 3 so the previous start is basically here is 1 uh, for previous start and previous n is 3 current start is 2 and current n is 6 so we check previous n which is 3 is it bigger than equals to 2 yes it is is 3 smaller than 6? Yes, it is. So this is where we remove last, and then we take the previous start, which is 1, and then the current end, which is 6, right? So that's how we form the first answer here. Now, in the event that previous end is smaller than current start, that way we know if it abides to this rule here, start and end, which is, uh, as we can see in the example where the number of start is smaller than the number of n so what we can ensure is if previous n is already smaller than current start is definitely smaller than current n uh, and we can be sure that there's no way there's going to be an overlapping scenario here so what we can do is basically pre uh, results will just append the current start and current n and that is pretty much 
it I think so we sort it first just to ensure that all the numbers is exactly as what we expect which is 1 and 3, 2, 6, 8, 10 we don't want to encounter any scenarios where uh, for example using this example here 10 comes before 8 uh, we just want to make sure that all the numbers at the start is smaller than the end and then we basically take the first uh, nested array as our results because we're going to compare the previous and the current uh, values and basically we just perform the operation in a for loop fashion all the way to the end of the uh, sorted intervals so with that being said let's go ahead and run this and hopefully we get it right looks good let's try and submit this there we have it uh, looks good this is the answer for this question i hope you guys uh, enjoy this one uh, stay tuned for the next video i'm going to do another interval question so as always uh, thanks for your time take care and bye bye